welcome I am door dashing again tonight I started a little earlier so it's not dark yet give it an hour and I'm sure it will be I it's not raining either so it should be a good night it's already pretty busy I actually had a hard time getting my dash started because the market is flooded which means there's a lot of dashers out right now to meet the order density so I scheduled to start at 5 and I'm almost to where I have to start at because I had to go to the next town over because actually where I live where I normally dash it was completely grayed out and I couldn't get on there so I am going to another area um, like a section over and I had to schedule to be here so I'm headed in that direction it's more city so maybe we'll have a little different experience than we did the other night like I said it's been a nice day it's a little overcast um, it's not too cold not at all I think about living in the south we don't have those harsh winters that other people do um, as you can see I am on the highway on my way to my destination to start so once I get my first paying and my first order I'll bring you with me and we'll see where we're going okay so I get my first order looks like I'm going over the cheesecake factory which um, it's kind of interesting to me. It's the first time I've picked it up at the Cheesecake Factory. I have heard rumors about the Cheesecake Factory. They're a little bit infamous in the DoorDash community for several things, being slow and all kinds of things. They don't, this person hasn't ordered any cheesecake, which seems to be part of the problem of the Cheesecake Factory. So I'm going to go pick it up and I'm going to see what it's all about I guess a new experience for me I don't have the cheesecake factory in my regular area so um, this is the first time I will pick up at it okay so I'm not even in that cheesecake factory yet but it's already been a little weird because the person that ordered is texting me and asking me to make sure there's pico sauce in there and I said okay I don't have a problem with that she's like make sure there's extra I will pay to have extra um I'm like I, I'll ask them I can't imagine they wouldn't give me pico sauce for her food but I will make sure she's got her pico sauce so and she was she like reiterated uh, several times that she would like extra pico sauce and she put it in her order and then she texted it to me and I'm wondering if like the drop-off is also gonna say please make sure there's pico sauce but okay lady I'm getting you your pico sauce okay <laughs> trying to figure out where I am but this restaurant is in a mall thankfully the front door is on the outside so I don't have to like walk through the mall just to pick up this meal but I don't, the directions <laughs> told me to go a certain way because the address that was given to the restaurant is the actual address of the mall. So I ended up, because of the directions that it gave me, in front of like the maintenance building at the mall. So now I am circling around the mall trying to find the Cheesecake Factory and hoping they, this is taking long enough that when I get there, I don't have to wait that much longer for the food. So, but now I know once I find the Cheesecake Factory, where to go next time I need to be at the Cheesecake Factory. It's crazy. Oh, it was at the front the whole time. Oh boy. All right, now, now that I found it, I need to, find a parking space at the mall the other dilemma about it being in the mall so okay so I found a parking spot now I'm walking in halfway across the county it seems like they do have VLA parking and there's plenty of it but that's by dollar all right here I go asking for my Pico okay bonus they did have it they had it ready for me and they had plenty of extra Pico and people are watching me vlog, which I'm not quite comfortable with around me yet, but 
But yeah, she's got extra Pico. So this lady, I hope she's happy. Me and my Pico are gonna go deliver to this lady. This is how you know you're in a city now because I have to drive two miles and apparently it's gonna take 11 minutes to get there. People run a lot of red lights in this city. It's a little scary. Okay, so that lady ended up being really cool. She tipped me on the app, but she also gave me a $10 cash tip for getting all that Pico. I'm like, I can go get, go get you some more if you want. <laughs> yeah, so that was cool. So now I have to find a place to park or drive towards it at least and wait for another order. Okay, so I picked up an order from Taco Mac. So I'm not and it's a bunch of wings. So I don't know what kind of restaurant this actually is. Have you been to a Taco Mac? Comment down below, tell me what you think of it. It's in this area where Cheesecake Factory is, so I guess it's kind of a trendy place. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Okay, once again, I'm having problems with parking. This time I had to go to a parking garage. I think DoorDash should consider the fact that you have to walk quite a ways from parking to the front of the restaurant when you're picking up the order and compensate you a little bit better for it. DoorDash, if you're watching, talk to you. Ready. Okay, biggest issue now is that it's been a while. I was supposed to pick up 10 minutes ago and I'm still waiting on food. They're just wings. It's pretty slow here, so I'm not sure the hold up is. 30 minutes. That's how long it took to get that food. I'm supposed to be at that guy's house like 15 minutes ago. And I asked one girl and she's like, well, they'll bring it out when it's ready. They didn't. And I talked to a manager and he was like, well, let me go check on it. And he magically came right back with it. Like the first girl didn't even bother checking. And it's not busy. It's not busy. There's probably one, or maybe two tables. It's so quiet, all these empty tables. And she couldn't be bothered to go and check on my order for me. So that was a little unpleasant. I'm not sure I want to pick up from there again. Um, so it seems like a nice restaurant, but if my order takes like that when I order regularly, I don't want to deal with that. So um, it's not high on my priority list for places to go. I'll tell you what though, these wings smell really good. Okay, I found the house, delivered it, and now I have a double stack order. I have to go to P.F. Chang's and pick up an order, and then I have to go to another restaurant and pick up an order, and then I have to deliver the P.F. Chang's and then deliver the other one. It happens once in a while, it's okay. It kind of stresses me out, but it actually always ends up being okay. So, I'm gonna go pick up the one. Okay, the people next to me are now like getting out of the car and they like, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's supposed to be a Chinese fire drill, but kind of looked like it. This pizza place is inside of a Wendy's? The Wendy's inside of a pizza place? I don't know. Once again, I'm waiting, but hopefully that means in the next place, you have no excuse, it should be ready when I pick it up. Pizza here, Pia Chang's in a minute. Then I have to drive like two opposite directions to deliver these. I do have two separate DoorDash bags. I picked an extra up, one up one time when I was in uptown at the DoorDash office. I asked them for another one and they gave it to me, no problem.
were like at the wrong order, so it's actually gonna be a 10 minute wait. The next restaurant better be ready. All right, so I asked the lady that works here. She doesn't know who comes up and down the elevator. It's not a business or anything. She said it looked like construction workers. She said they might put like a bar upstairs or something, but for now, it's just a Wendy's and a pizza place. She said she's never seen anyone come up or down. She's not allowed to go up there. And she's worked here a year, and she doesn't even know what's up there. That's so weird. If I worked here for a year, at one point, I would have gone up the elevator. But I'm curious like that. All right, so I'm off to P.F. Chang's to pick up that order. Then I have to deliver both of these orders. So let the adventure continue. And also, P.F. Chang should be ready because I already had to wait at this other place. And I got both orders at the same time. So I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that I'm not waiting forever. Let's just hope there's not even a line. Let's just not wait at all. Let's just walk in and be like, I need this order. And they're going to be like, you may have it. That's the goal. Let's see how it goes. Walking again. I thought I had a good parking spot. And I realized the door was around the corner. This time it's a line. Looks like my friend might actually be ready. Just got to wait for these people in front of me. Um, Gracie? Gracie? Yes. Okay, so that actually worked out. This lady in front of me was ordering. Another gentleman that worked there, he saw me in line with my DoorDash bag and he was like, who are you picking up for? So he let me jump the line and pick up my food and go. So it was ready. So there's that. So I'm on my way to deliver the pizza. I'm not really okay with the stop and go traffic because I don't feel like it's really covering my gas tonight. All I've had to do it since it's, this is foreign area to me and it's a city and it's busy and then there's a lot of like in plaza and in mall stuff. I feel like I've wasted a lot of gas going back and forth trying to find places and trying to figure out where the heck I'm going. So. So I'm not sure how I feel about all of that. I would have preferred to stay in my own area just because I know where I'm going. And also, I mean, it is spread out, but this is spread out also, and this is spread out. And on top of that, it's crazy traffic. Okay, I dropped off the pizza. It was fine, except for he had a bunch, like a hundred stairs in front of his house. I nearly choked going down, but I didn't. And that's all that matters. It's really dark through this neighborhood. I'm on my way to deliver the Chinese food, which actually doesn't look like it's very far. So, onward. I'm also at the point of the night where I'm getting hungry and it doesn't help to be smelling all this delicious food. Okay, I just dropped that off at a really nice house. That was kind of cool. One of my favorite things about DoorDash is, is to see people's homes and sometimes I see some incredible cool giant houses so they were nice actually it was a kid that answered okay so i'm headed home i did those four deliveries that you all saw it took me three hours from five to eight to do it i made 33 dollars on the app plus the ten dollars from um pico lady that she gave me in cash so all in all it's 43 dollars for three hours of work which is which is about twelve to thirteen dollars an hour. It's not too bad for a Monday. Not too bad for three hours of work. So I feel like if I knew that area better, I could have done better because I could have fit more deliveries in that time. But I didn't. So hopefully next time I can be back in my own area which I know and I can get to A to B without getting lost. So thanks for coming with me tonight. I know it's dark right now. I hope you found this a little interesting. Please like the video if you found it interesting at all, any part of it, and please subscribe so you have more fun things to watch. Bye.